Hey, this is Knife Standards. Today I'm gonna to be doing a quick top five countdown. These are my top five most carried knives and my top five favorites right now. This list changes almost on a daily basis, but I have not made a video like this in quite a while and you guys have been asking for it. So let's go ahead and get into it. We have coming in at number five, the American Blade Works Model 2. This is a really interesting knife. I was not expecting to like this at all. I was expecting to get it, try it out, and then sell it. Um, but it definitely surprised me. This might be my favorite flipper right now. And um, American made, Magna Cut, really satisfying flip and acoustics. Awesome ergos like this one a lot. Number five. Number four, we have, of course, the RR standard. Yes, I still carry one of these every single day. Hollow ground, compound ground magna cut on the blade. He treated to 62 to 62.5 HRC, titanium scales, titanium frame lock, and yes, wire clip, although there are milled titanium clips that fit. Um, anyway, you guys know all about the RR standard. Really super smooth action, strong, snappy detent. I like this a lot, and I always have one in my pocket. Coming in at number three, we have, of course, of course, we have the RR Station. This is in production right now. This is in Vanex, and um, the pre-orders have closed, but there will be a drop, a small drop coming um, as soon as the pre-orders go out. I, You guys can see the, uh, the milled clip interchangeable with the standard. I really like this. This is a big knife, super smooth action. You can use the thumb studs, middle finger flick, boom. Our, our station coming in at number, what are we at? Number two, at number two. Let's go ahead and talk about the, where is it? Where is it? I had it right here. Oh, ha ha. Got it. The small Sabenza from Chris Reeve Knives. So this is an interesting knife. I am into Chris Reeve now and I'm kind of getting used to the action and the slow roll. The acoustics of that snap at the end, really satisfying. Boom. This is the Tanto, small Sabenza Tanto with gold dual thumb studs. Of course it is a frame lock. I'm not a huge fan of the uh, sand blast texture. <coughs> Excuse me. I kind of want the um, the glass. I think they call it the glass blast. Um, but this is already smoothed out a lot. Not as smooth as I would like it. And yes, I know I can polish the washers and all that. But I'm trying to get it as smooth as I can without taking it apart quite yet. Anyway, this has been in my pocket a lot lately. Kind of as my backup, my like small backup. Yeah, the lanyard's still there. I don't know how I feel about the lanyard, but um, really a, a comfortable small carry. I do need a new clip for this. I don't like the bent clip. But anyway, coming in at number two, the small Sabenza, surprisingly, right? And number one, this is the real surprise. Um, and this is only my favorite because of the scales. I just put on these unbelievable... Alutex Aramis scales, and man, this is my PM2 in 15V. The scales made all the difference. They Not only is this my favorite color, but just the way it changes in the light. This is a pretty tricked out PM2. Um, let's go ahead and get it open. Action is awesome. I'm still dialing in the action a little bit. I haven't Loctited everything quite yet. Um, I put it all together to see kind of how everything looks. We have aftermarket hardware that's anodized blue. We have the Aramis scales, of course, um, CPM 15V on the blade steel. And then uh, this backspacer, I think it's rock scale, rock scale geared backspacer. And boom, really nice aftermarket clip from RGT. Um, I had titanium scales and a different clip and there's something else that was different. Uh, maybe that was it. And it just, I just did not like the knife. I didn't like the way it felt in pocket. And the scales were awesome. They were frag 
titanium, it was, but it was a little bit heavy for me. This lightened it up. It looks awesome. I'm still debating whether or not to put these blue body screws in for the clip, but man, this thing, <laughs> this is where it's at. Super snappy, comfortable, and I know you guys know the PM2. I know, I know, but I'm new to it. Um, these scales made all the difference. I, I want to buy another PM2 just so I can buy more of these scales. Really awesome. Coming in at number one, Spyderco PM2. Just to review, we have the American Blade Works Model 2, our standard RR station, small Sebenza from CRK, and of course the Spyderco PM2. My current top five, again, this changes all the time. Thanks for watching. This is Knife Standards. Catch you later.